Here's a pamphlet that has been distributed for over 35 years by a heavily funded nonprofit organization called Hubbard House. Never, no, not once, have they ever had a photo of a man anywhere on this 35-year-old pamphlet. Now that you know that, think about the effects that will have. Hello, everybody. I just wanted to bring this fact to the attention of the general public and make aware to all people. So people will have a chance to think about what kind of effects that mass advertising, funding, education, and training will have on the number of women versus the number of men that will be responding to or be drawn in by this targeted advertising and respond to its desire to attract women and have them come forward and report abuse and or learn about the benefits that can be given if a report is made. Here's what I think. I think if you advertise or market anything correctly that you will naturally get a response from the targeted people or a customer that you are looking to serve or sell or suggest. I wonder if there would be a sharp increase in reports from men making claims if places like Hubbard House were actually fair about the unbiased and unbiased when they would put and they would put effort into their advertising to attract men to come forward and report abuse. I think that it is possible to increase the number of men that would be willing to come forward and report the forms of abuse that are criminal by law and listed in this pamphlet. I'm sure there are equal numbers of men and women that suffer abuse. But the problem with getting men to come forward and report forms of abuse is directly related to the advertising that is put out there. I live in Jacksonville, Florida, and I hope that not all battered women's shelters are doing the same thing with their advertising where they never have had a photo of a man on their pamphlet in 35 years. I firmly believe that if places like Hubbard House had a photo of three men fishing on a boat for the cover of their pamphlet and kept it like that for 35 years, well, they would ultimately have to, they would ultimately have much more success at getting a higher number of men to come forward and talk about the abuse they also may be facing or tolerating when living with a constantly angry, jealous, substance abusing, or mentally ill woman and therefore be able to realize that they are in an unhealthy relationship and get out while receiving the benefits and power that will assist them to do so. This would also help offset the high statistics that are always publicly reported and empowers FCADV to ask the government or DCF for more funding and receive yet one more year of heavily funded money to be granted and continue the advertising, education, and training that goes into the domestic violence prevention services and benefits that are awarded to mostly women that respond to Hubbard House's targeted advertising geared towards attracting women to their services. And keep the more realistic idea of the truth that women and men are human and we both are capable of domestic violence in equal numbers. Fix the VAWA law, also known as Violence Against Women's Act. This is a human problem. Men and women are capable of, viol capable of violence in equal numbers. Yet it is portrayed that women are the victim with advertising like this. Thank you for listening.